Hello, this is Dr. Thomas Virney. I am making this video from my home in Stratford, Ontario, Canada. Unfortunately, I'm not able to be with you at this time because of the coronavirus epidemic. However, I do hope to come and visit Japan and visit with all my friends in Japan in November of this year. What I was going to talk to you about, and the kind invitation, I should say, of Dr. Ikagawa and Dr. Masayuki Ogado, was to talk about pre- and perinatal psychology. And what is one of the cornerstones of pre- and perinatal psychology is the fact that life is a continuum from conception to death. A person's life, as so many people believe nowadays, does not begin at birth, but at conception. Whatever happens to us at conception and after conception is just incredibly important. One of the other things that we need to realize as we learn more about pre- and perinatal psychology is that there is no separation between the mind and the body. They are one. Whatever changes occur in the mind will affect the body and vice versa. When a woman is pregnant, this principle may be extended to her child in utero. And so how we humans develop and learn depends on the dynamic interaction, and this is incredibly important, on the dynamic interaction between nature and nurture, that is, nutrition, surroundings, care, stimulation, and teaching are provided or withheld. So nature, nature's potential, can be realized only as it is enabled by nurture. So one of the important things again that I wish to talk about is that the brain is sensitive to experience throughout life, but experience during the critical periods of prenatal and early postnatal life organizes the brain. As Dr. Bruce Perry, a very well-known pediatrician in the United States has said, experience is the chief architect of the brain. Therefore, the prenatal and early postnatal stages determine to a very large extent our biological and psychological makeup. In other words, such things as medical conditions, immune system, reactions to stress, as well as personality, the ability to relate to others, to love and be loved. It follows that the prenatal and early postnatal stages provide a unique and best opportunity for the primary prevention of biological and psychological disorders. So when we look at early childhood, really early childhood, let's say the first two years of life, it is during that time that a secure relationship with one or two primary caregivers, preferably the parents of the child, maximizes the acquisition of emotional and cognitive skills. As uh, Professor Daniel Siegel, again a very well-known psychiatrist in the United States, has so aptly put it, it is the human connections which create the neural connections from which the mind emerges. Therefore, pregnancy is an opportunity for growth and transformation for mother and her baby. This is terribly, terribly important to realize. Everybody can grow through the early stages of uh, postnatal life. And so, finally, the mother is not just a passive receptacle or incubator for a child's growth, but rather 
an active participant. So these are some of the things that I will be speaking to you about when hopefully I can come for a visit in November when this coronavirus epidemic is over. I really, really regret that I'm not there now, but like I said, I hope to be there with my other Japanese colleagues in November. So in the meantime, take good care of yourself and stay well, stay well.